welcome back. Jim, watching Free Speech TV in Pine City, New Mexico, or excuse me, Minnesota. Hey, Jim, what's up? Hi, Tom. Um, do, um, I want to ask you about the Postal Service. It's been a while since I heard you talk about it. Mm -hmm. it's always a, I know it's my post people here in, in Pine City are just you know wonderful people, and I really feel for what they've had to endure, what Bush did to them. Now, my, I get a tremendous amount of junk mail, and I'm looking at one last night that's for, for an insurance plan, a supplemental insurance. And I must throw five, six of these away, it seems like a daily. Could it be possible that it says on there, no postage necessary if mailed in the United States? If all of us were to take these junk mail, business reply mails, just leave them empty, don't put a return address on, don't put anything in it, seal it, and throw it in the mailbox, would it benefit the Postal Service? Yes. Yes. Uh, the Postal Service would get their 50 cents or whatever the cost of a stamp is these days. And the people who sent you the junk mail would have to pay for it. And my thought is, the people in the United States, you know, if a large percentage of us did this, would it really help? I think we could really help the Postal Service. Yeah, very often what's, what's happening in order to try to discourage that is the junk mailers are pre-printing on your envelope your name and address so that they know that it came from you. But it doesn't say, yes, sign me up for Acme widgets or whatever, or if it does, you can scratch that off. Um, and if, if you don't mind them knowing that you're the source of sending it back to them, it might even encourage them to take you off their damn list. Sounds like a good idea to me, Jim. Okay. Okay. And uh, how are they add on their payment on that uh, large debt that they had to pay for? The, the postal, postal Service? As yes. far as I know, and I may be wrong on this, but I think I'm not. I think that this is the last year of 10 years. I think it, it went into effect. It was passed in 2005. It went into effect in 2006. It was $5 billion a year for, five, for 10 years, which is $50 billion. And I think that trust fund now has about $50 billion in it. And that next year, if the Republicans want to continue to try to destroy the post office, they're going to have to reauthorize this. If they, if they can maintain a majority in the House and Senate and they can put Trump in the White House, they will succeed at doing that. If, if not, if they end up with Hillary Clinton in the White House and they have Democrats controlling the Senate, in all probability, they will not be able to renew it in which case the post office will get a breath of, of air. Uh, they, they'll have $5 billion more every year than they have right now. Um, you know, they'll have this trust fund that they can use to pay for the health of retired people 70 years from now. <laughs> and they can go back to talking about, hey, maybe we should put solar vehicles and electric vehicles. And, you know, I mean, they were about to do some really cool stuff in 2005 because they were showing a nice profit when Bush and his Republican buddies in the House and Senate decided to try to wipe out the post office so that UPS or FedEx could privatize it. And, you know, the, the, the one thing that kind of blew up their plans was Amazon.com, frankly. Amazon got so popular, and, I mean, it's actually starting to hurt Walmart and other big retailers. Amazon got so popular, and they were using the U.S. Postal Service for so much of their delivery that they actually kept the Postal Service alive uh, you know, a along with other kinds of, of mail and things, uh, low these last 10 years. So the best laid plans of Republican mice and men uh, didn't quite work out. But uh, this is something to contact your members of Congress about. The, the congressional switchboard is 202-225-3121 or 224-3121. They both work. And you can just ask for your senator or your, your senators or your member of Congress and let them know that you think that it's crazy that the post office has to fund retirees who have not yet been born and you'd like to see the Postal Act of 2005, you know, let it expire, let it die, let it go away. Jim, thanks a lot for the call. Great to hear from you. Thanks for watching Free Speech TV. We'll be right back. To watch more clips from our programs, hit the Watch More Videos button over here. And please be sure to hit the handy-dandy subscribe button so you'll always be up to date. Tag, you're it.